When it comes to choosing an operating system, one question that often comes up in tech communities is, is Linux still safe? For decades, Linux has been known for its security, reliability, and resistance to malware that affects other operating systems, particularly Windows. In 2025, the cybersecurity landscape has changed significantly. Threats have evolved, attackers are more sophisticated in Linux, while still robust, is not completely immune. In this video, we will explore the current state of Linux security, how safe it really is today, and what measures can be taken to stay protected. Linux has always had a reputation for security, and there are several. Reasons for this, the Linux ecosystem is highly diverse, unlike Windows or Mac OS, which have a few dominant versions. Linux exists in hundreds of distributions, each with unique configurations, package managers, and software ecosystems. This diversity acts as a form of security through obscurity attackers targeting a specific Linux distribution often face obstacles that make it difficult to create a one-size-fits-all exploit and exploit targeting Ubuntu, may not work on Fedora or Arch Linux because of differences in package management kernel versions and security modules. Another reason Linux has traditionally been considered safe is its permission model. By default, Linux enforces strict user privileges. Normal users do not have root access, which means even if a malicious program runs, it is less likely to compromise the entire system this differs. From some other operating systems where user accounts often have administrative rights by default making them more vulnerable to malware and ransomware. Open source transparency is another crucial factor. Since Linux is open source, its code is publicly available, allowing security researchers worldwide to audit it, identify vulnerabilities, and contribute patches. This collaborative model has led to faster identification and mitigation of security issues in contrast to closed source operating. Systems rely mostly on internal teams to find and fix bugs, which can result in delayed updates and unnoticed vulnerabilities. However, the landscape has changed in recent years. While Linux is generally secure, it is not invincible. Cyber acts targeting Linux have increased, especially in enterprise environments, cloud servers, and IoT devices malware targeting. Linux is becoming more sophisticated. In the past, most Linux malware was relatively simple, often designed to hijack server resources for cryptocurrency mining or to create botnets. Today, attackers are deploying advanced rootkits, ransomware, and targeted attacks that exploit vulnerabilities in popular Linux software stacks. One notable trend is the rise of ransomware targeting Linux servers. Historically, ransomware was mostly associated with Windows, but recent reports show a surge in attacks on Linux systems, particularly those running web servers, databases, and critical enterprise infrastructure. Attackers exploit known vulnerabilities, weak credentials, or unpatched software to gain root access and encrypt valuable data. Unlike Windows ransomware, which spreads via phishing or infected email attachments Linux, ransomware typically targets network-facing services, misconfigured servers, and SSH credentials. Containerization also presents a new set of challenges. Linux powers container technologies like Docker and Kubernetes, which are central to cloud infrastructure. Containers are designed to isolate applications, but misconfigured containers or unpatched container images can introduce serious security risks. Attackers have discovered vulnerabilities in container runtimes orchestration. Platforms and default configurations, allowing them to escape the container sandbox and compromise host systems. Despite these risks, Linux remains a strong choice for security-conscious users, but it requires proactive management. Simply installing Linux is not enough regular updates are crucial. Linux distributions frequently release kernel and software updates that patch security vulnerabilities. Delaying or ignoring updates leave systems exposed. Fortunately, most distributions offer automated update mechanisms to simplify this process. Using strong authentication methods is equally important. Passwords alone are no longer sufficient. Implementing key-based SSH access to factor authentication and other identity management tools significantly reduces the risk of unauthorized access. Minimizing network exposure is vital. Many attacks happen over the internet, so limiting the number of services exposed to public networks and configuring firewalls appropriately can prevent a majority of attacks. Security modules like SI Linux and Appermar add an extra layer of protection. 
SI Linux, for instance, enforces mandatory access control policies that confine programs to specific permissions, reducing potential damage from compromised applications. While these modules can be complex to configure, they are invaluable for high security environments, particularly servers and enterprise deployments. The software you run is another factor. Linux uses package managers and repositories, which provide vetted software. Updates using official repositories is safer than downloading binaries from untrusted sources. Many attacks on Linux desktops occur because users bypass package managers and install software from unknown websites, which can include malicious code. Linux security also depends on the user's threat model. For general desktop use, Linux's exceptionally safe malware targeting Linux desktops is rare compared to Windows. For servers, particularly those running critical infrastructure, the stakes are higher. Attackers actively scan the internet for exposed Linux servers looking for known vulnerabilities, weak passwords, or misconfigurations. In this context, Linux security is as much about proper system administration as it is about the inherent strength of the operating system. Comparing Linux to other operating systems in terms of security, Windows has historically been the primary target for malware due to its large user base particularly among desktop users. However, Windows has made significant strides in security with features like Windows. Defender-controlled folder access and secure boot Mac OS being. Unix base shares some security traits with Linux, but has a smaller attack surface due to fewer users and tighter ecosystem control. Linux combines the benefits of unix based security with open source transparency, making it highly resilient when configured properly. One of the emerging threats for Linux today is supply chain attacks. These attacks compromise the software development process itself, inserting malicious code into software packages before they reach the end. User, the open source nature of Linux means many users rely on community maintained packages, which can sometimes be targeted. High profile examples include compromises of widely used software libraries where attackers inserted backdoors affecting thousands of systems before detection. IoT devices present a growing concern. Many IoT devices run on embedded Linux systems. While these devices are often resource constrained and cannot implement full security suites, they remain connected. It's two networks and are potential entry points for attackers. Insecure IoT devices can be recruited into botnets used for DDoS. Tax are leveraged to gain access to more critical network segments. Another critical aspect of Linux security is the kernel itself. The Linux kernel is constantly evolving and vulnerabilities are occasionally discovered even in the core system, while patches are usually released quickly. Delayed updates or running outdated distributions can leave systems exposed. Attackers actively monitor these kernel vulnerabilities, especially in enterprise and cloud environments where the potential payoff is higher. Despite these considerations, Linux remains a preferred choice for security conscious users, developers, and organizations. Its architecture, access controls, and open source nature provide a level of transparency and resilience few other operating systems can match. The Linux community continuously contributes to improving security by auditing code sharing, best practices, and developing new security frameworks. In conclusion, the question is Linux still safe does not have a simple yes or no answer. Linux is still one of the safest operating systems available, particularly for those who follow best practices keep systems updated, and limit exposure to potential threats. However, it is not invulnerable. Threats have evolved and attackers are increasingly targeting. Linux systems in enterprise cloud and IoT environments. The safety of Linux today depends largely on user awareness, proper configuration, and proactive security measures. If you are considering Linux for your desktop server or IoT project, it remains a solid choice but treats security as a continuous responsibility. Not a guarantee? Stay updated, follow security best practices, audit your systems regularly, and leverage the powerful tools Linux provides to keep your data safe. Linux is still safe, but only if you actively maintain that safety in today's evolving threat landscape.